Welcome back. So I kind of use something here called model binding and I didn't talk that much about it. So let me try and uh, do a real explanation about what model binding actually is. So this is what we call model binding and I've shown you two ways already. The, the one way to do model binding is, is just to use the primitive types like an int uh, ID and a string name. Now I'm using just type to do model binding and that's, that's um, the uh, one way to do model binding and, and it's valid, it's useful, especially if you don't have more than one or two properties. But when you start getting more properties, then the complex model binding, which is the other one, where it's a, a, an object actually we pass in instead, the one called complex model binding here, it's going to be an object that you pass in instead of actually just a, a primitive type. So this is one way to do it, but I'm more into uh, the complex model binding in this case because it's going to be a person and at some point that person is going to have a lot of properties. So that's why we use the complex model binding. Now, I want to bring this up because there's actually a pretty good uh, model binding example. If you go into Tutorials Teacher and you go under model binding, it's right below the racer helpers. Um, here there's actually a few examples of how model binding can also be done. Now, it's up to you how you want to use it, but I think this one is also kind of uh, interesting. It's I think it's the older way to do it, but you can use the request object to actually do a query string like this. So if we wanted to pull out the information of the ID in our code, we could actually go in and say, instead of using this model binding, we can go in and say request dot query string. And then here you could actually just do square brackets and then explain what property you're, you're looking for. And in my case, it might be the ID that I'm looking for. Then I could do it like this and just add the ID here directly and then just get it into the property of ID just like you normally would do. Now I'm actually finding the ID if it's there from the request, just using another another binding method, not the model binding, but just another method, the request uh, binding here. So I'm pulling out the query strings ID, um, which is just another way of getting the data. Or you can do model binding like this or complex model binding. It's up to you. Now there are other ways to do it. Let me show you another way to actually do this. Um, this is kind of two examples here where he just uses the ID like we did and then he pulls it out and here he's using a post request. We'll do that soon where we really start digging into the post requests and then he has three properties he's pulling out using the student ID, the student name and the age. So somehow he sent that inside the body or uh, some kind of form uh, inside the request here. Now this is how you do the binding to the primitive types like I talked about. Here we have the student slice edit and then you have either ID equals or ID one and then you kind of bind it together. Now, I think it's also important with binding that it actually doesn't, it's insensitive. So it doesn't care if it's ID or ID or ID. That's a cool thing to know. So it really doesn't care what you write here as long as the letters match. Um, and that's another way to bind here uh, where you use the primitive types. And of course you can do that with multiple parameters. And then the last way is the complex one I just showed you. So in our case, it's not a student, it's actually a person, but it doesn't matter. You can bind uh, an, a complex uh, type as well. So using, this is just an example of actually doing a complex binding, data binding like this. So now you know the word data binding, uh, sorry, model binding, <laughs> and you know how to use it as well. So model binding, another word you have to have in your arsenal when we work with MVC. Just like action methods and action verbs and action selectors, you have to start learning these verbs so we can start talking the same language. See you in the next lesson.